Hi guys, now we are going to challenge students here and they are going to challenge themselves here on the table. Can you keep watching? We are going to ask some questions here, then after that we will give you a way forward. Thank you. Let us start with my first student here and he's going to introduce himself. After that we will go like that. Can you start? Hello guys. Please take it. You take and you explain for us. You give way you do it. So when you are there, you have to do what? You give way us from the right because the danger is on your right side. Now continue. Good. So we have already used the 90 degrees. Then when you reach here, you have weight dotted. The meaning of weight dotted, you can shift or you can change direction. Now we have another question. Can you make a question there? So he's saying we take this vehicle going to this one. So this student is going to take for us, then we watch if it is true or false. Now can you start? Which option have you used here? Which option? Option two. Thank you. Now you have another student here, and she's going to make a question with you. I will make a question and ask my student question. And this paper it is on the white continuous or white broken. Here or here? Here. Ha. Can you take that to get back to the back? Zero. So you we'll stop for the coming vehicles? Not the time to cut the weight. It went for the vehicles on the right. On the right, yes. Shift. Then you shift. Then you join the media plane. Then you shift. Use the second option. No, no, no. No way you can park here. When you find there is a vehicle here, you should know this parking is, is full. So you are supposed to park to this parking. Because the rule of this parking, you have to park from the farthest end. So you have the rules of the parking. First rule, you have to park from the farthest end. Second, we park saloon car. That rule, we park by forward, then you leave by river, then forward. And you have the last rule, which is we park only saloon car. Thank you, thank you, and subscribe, Mr. Thomas.